Hey guys, welcome back to the village. It's your sister Ashante. So I realized after the summertime video, I don't know why I sing that, <laughs> but I realized after the summertime video that um, I have not talked about the curriculum that we used in our homeschool setting. So since we're continuing math over the summer, I figured we start with that. So here's a breakdown of the math curriculum we use in our home. So math, if you have glasses, are you always adjusting them? I'm literally always adjusting my glasses. Anyway, and then I do that. I don't know why I do that. Okay, so math, <laughs> math was actually a very tricky subject for me to hone down for our homeschool because it was either that I would really like it and she did not, or she did not, or she liked it and I did not. Or it just it just never worked for us so um, I went through about three or maybe even four different curriculums now if you know like I've said before I'm not paying full fright full price full price I'm not paying full price for a curriculum until I know that I like it so it could be that some of these programs I didn't like because I got them from the thrift store I don't know it's definitely possible. But as I was going through this whole mania of trying to find math for us, a lady from my co-op was selling her math equipment that she had from last year. And I was like, why not? I'll give it a try. And of course, as she's selling it, she's like, hey, have you ever used a Becca? And I was like, no, I've heard of it. And she's like, oh my God, you're going to love it. And I'm like, that's what everybody says when they're trying to sell you something, you know. But she wasn't lying. So we've been using a Becca for our math curriculum now for about a year and it has just completely changed the game. Now, um, a pro and a con, pro slash con for people may be that it is faith-based. That's a pro for me. Now, excuse me, I have a whole slew of stuff over here. Um, some of you may be saying, how in the world can you get faith-based stuff in the math? I'm happy, yes. So what they do is on the workbooks, they actually put like little proverbs or little psalms to encourage the children, to encourage the teachers, because sometimes I just need someone saying you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you when I'm teaching you how to divide fractions. So yes, it is faith-based. So if you're not Christian, you may not like that part. Um, so price points before we continue now let me say like i said i got this from the lady at the co-op thank you so much i don't remember her name because that's how i am um so i looked online before i started this now they have several different parts which we'll get into but if you just want to get the part that's for your children the child's workbook and the book for you know what no after we go through it then we'll do the price point so then you'll know what i'm talking about Okay, so like I was saying, there are parts that are just for the kids, and then there are parts that are just for the teachers. There's this guy walking two massive dogs, and they just came up on my porch like, what's up? Anyway, um, there's just for the teachers. I really like the teacher one, and, and don't be super impressed with this binder. I didn't do this. The lady did it. She's super, super organized. I need to be more like her. Anyway, on the teacher one, they do give you, oh, those nails look first off, nails look okay. All right, um, they give you a curriculum along with lesson plans. Y'all, the lesson plans are amazing. No, that wasn't slowed down. Um, so what the lesson plans do, they basically tell you, all right, this is what you're doing this week. This is how you're going to prepare for the class. This is the things you're going to go over. And then it goes over what you're teaching each day. It'll give you problems to give to the children. It tells you, is that, is that backwards for y'all? Yeah. Whatever. Um, anyway. It It tells you what to go over for and then it tells you what their homework should be this is what sold me on this because it was kind of like I don't have to think about this I don't I don't have to think about how I'm going to present the material to you for you to you know be excited and get it now do I must be excited I'm talking really fast <gasps> okay 
Now, do I have to go and review and learn up before? Of course, that's a part of homeschooling as a parent. But this lays it all out for me. It takes so much more of the guesswork out, which I love. The second thing that they have for parents is a teacher's handbook, the teacher's workbook. The teacher's workbook is just like the kid's workbook, except blue. Y'all remember the blue? You remember back in school when they had books like I don't think that schools have books anymore, but do you remember back in the day when we had real books and you could flip to the back and the odd numbers were answered and they were answered in blue? It has blue. That's your whole workbook, sis. Oh, I know. So every question that your kid gets on their workbook, you already have the answer to. It's really nice. So for the kids, um, the kids have their main workbook, which obviously... <laughs> We've gotten a lot of use out of. Uh, we really like it. Like I said, it goes through and has everything there, and they just fill it all out. It's wonderful sauce. But then they also have do, 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 tests and speed drills as well as quizzes. This is a life changer. For you people who, you people, mm, with a pointy finger, aren't I condescending? For you folks, for you folks who are in states where it mandates that you have tests prove that your child has learned information this bad boy right here is all that you need it has the test for your child to fill out and you can save and show to the state like what dunzo so that is where we get the bulk of our math curriculum from is that a becca price point now that you've seen the things that i'm talking about so the last two things, the test and the child's workbook, you can get that off the Abeka website for about 30 bucks. I had to buy those. I think when I went on there to research for this video, they're having some end of the year sale, so they're like $26, $27. Um, it's really not bad, so you can get those too. If you want to get the teacher's curriculum, which is that uh, lesson plan as well as the answer book, you can get those for about $70. So really that's not bad for a year's worth of math curriculum. So that's what we use for that. We do use several things to kind of make math fun because I am concerned that, you know, she's getting to that age where they say girls start to drop and wanting to do math and boys kind of flourish. Excuse me, bagel. Um, so we do a lot of fun things. One of the fun things that we do is this game that I found at the thrift store, Multiplication and Division Bingo. Y'all, we love this game. Now, don't be all like, oh my gosh, I'll never find that. You you guys became English then. Aww. English, British. You guys became British. You guys became British then. Aww. Um, you can remake this at home very easily. And if you guys like, I can make a video about how we remade it. Um, just let me know below if you would like that. Either way, so you have your regular bingo cards, and then for the person who's calling out, you'll have a card like this. And it used to have the answer right there, right there, so I had to blank that thing out. Anyway, so they'll say N three times three. It is hard to find your finger on the camera. Anyway, N three times three, that's what you'll call out, and so the child will have to remember what three times three is, and like N nine, and then they can find that on their card. So that's a lot of fun. We do that often. Something we do daily is an online game called Prodigy. Um, Prodigy, the best way that I can describe it is kind of like math meets Pokemon. If you have a child that loves Pokemon, which is my child, they will love this game. Basically what they do is they do um, math problems to capture these creatures. They themselves are these wizards that fight beasts and dragons and all these things and then they capture these really awesome animals like rabbit unicorn things I don't know I don't know what they're called you know they have all these cool new animals but my daughter loves it um, prodigy costs like eight or nine dollars a month or sixty dollars per year it's something that I actually pay for because she likes it so much now they do have a free version but in this free version, you don't get like um, 
I guess the cool chest to put the child the children, Lord, a cool chest to put the creatures in. Um, you don't get to get as many animals. I don't know. I don't know. Somehow they got my money, but it's worth it because with this pay membership each week, I get how many questions she answered, how many questions she got right of those she answered, what her strong areas were, what her weak areas are, how she's progressing in regards to other fourth graders. Um, I get monthly report cards. It also gives me what I can do at home to reiterate what she's been learning. Now, there's no way for me to put in for Prodigy, this is what we're doing in our schooling. Can you give more questions like this? That's a downfall for me. But a really good thing is they do go and ask her questions that we haven't even got to yet. And because she's having so much fun, she learns and becomes quite strong at them. For instance, we haven't learned geometry as far as area, how to calculate the area of a rectangle or anything like that, but she knows how to do it. Um, we were going to introduce it, and she's just like, oh, that's easy. Bloop, 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 bloop. And I was like, Hello. Oh, I guess we just go on. So there are a lot of errors of prodigy reviews already on YouTube, so I'm not going to go too far into that, but it is something that has really, really... Um, helped our homeschool and maybe it'll help yours so that is that for our math curriculum if you've used a Becca let me know put it down below if you liked it didn't like it blah 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 it definitely could help somebody else but then also if you use a different type of math curriculum from your homeschool especially if it's cheaper than a Becca let your sister know because this is not a paid promotion Okay, no one paid me to review this and we're coming up to a new school year where I'm going to need new curriculum. And if I could save a little, <laughs> dollar, dollar. I will. All right, guys. I love you guys so much. Thanks so much for being a part of the village. Or, 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 uh, oh, yeah. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Do all those fun things so this channel continues to grow. I hope that you guys are enjoying everything that we got going on here and I will talk to you later. I hope you guys are enjoying everything that's going on here, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!